Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, 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 everybody. And welcome to the Mad House. My name is Maddie Smith, and we have a very special episode for you today. I'm welcoming a special, special, special fucking guest. His name is Radio Big Mac. He's a good friend of mine. I've known him for a long time. We've been co-cast members on Wild and Out since my first season in 2019. He came on a couple seasons before me and we have laughed and laughed and laughed ever since. You might know Radio Big Mac from his time on the radio waves. He also works at the Breakfast Club as a producer and a writer. And he's a stand-up touring with our friend Cortez on a wild and thick and thin, wild and thick and thin or... Something about fat and skinny. Yeah. He's a big guy. So before we get started, I just want to let you guys know, I'm coming to blah, 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 blah. Bridgeport, Connecticut, Providence, Syracuse, Chicago, Louisville, Kentucky, Fort Wayne, Indiana, and so many more. So come out and see me. All tickets are on sale at mandysmithcomedy.com. Let's get into it. <laughs> Can you hear me? You sound great. Yeah. Yer. Yer. Yep. Can I get a yer? Yer. yer. <laughs> Where did the yerp originate? Wait, did it start? Or we just... Yeah, we're recording. Just... But yeah, we're going to go. that's some shit. Know. Cool. I like that. Dude, we just go off. I like we that. We just run with it. Good thing I didn't start picking my nose before this started. I know, seriously. Dude, you're picking out your ass. No, we like, kinda, so where we start? Just, we kind of ah. just start. We kind of just start. And I do an intro of you like before. Oh, okay. Like solo. I'm like, we have a good friend in studio. Nice. <laughs> um, you know him. I know him. I'm I've bo- blown him. Give it up for Radio Big Mac. <laughs> Woo! 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 I'm, I'm Maddie's black friends. The yes, real ones. you are. You are three of my black friends in one. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. When people, if I ask if I have one black friend, I'm like, yeah, but there's a lot of him. Three of them. So. <laughs> we all ride in the same car. Yeah. <laughs> Just one big group photo. Yeah. <laughs> so what is up? I haven't seen you since our last filming, which was last year. Yeah, Obviously, see ago, you all over like- Insta. Working at the Breakfast Club. Well, you probably wouldn't see people because you travel the world so much. You know what I mean? You right. just, you know, you forgot us little people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're a little person in some ways. <laughs> in some ways. Dude, no, I go to I don't I go to weird places. I go to like Tacoma and like Fort Wayne, Indiana. Yeah, I've, and I've, I've never even heard of that first Columbus, one. Ohio. <laughs> I've heard of that Cleveland. Because of Lil Bow Wow, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So obviously I remember you. Like, how could I forget? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're awesome. <laughs> they were like, I thought we had Ruben Stutter coming. And it's like, oh yeah, that's Mac. <laughs> oh wait, that's Big Mac, my bad. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since I could. This set is fire though, I will tell you that. Thanks. It's like, if I did mushrooms, yeah, this is kind of the vibe it, it gave me. I kind of tell people it's like the inside of my brain. <laughs> like if my brain had like a talk show set, this was what it would look like. Yeah, I can see that. And then just like a corner of the most racist things you could think to say <laughs> to people. It's like, yeah, it's over there. Yeah, it's there's like a black, there. there's a black cloud over yeah. there that's like racist Maddie. Yeah, and the, <laughs> the cloud got bad credit too. Yeah. Oh, Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. once in a while, one thought would come out. I try to squish it back. Yeah, I, I, I get back. But then I see like my black friend eating fried chicken. I'm like, you would, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac. Maddie got a show. I got a show i got i got a pair of lips i'm like this show has to work out if i bought this fucking lips couch can i tell you maddie you have made my life a living hell you are one of the people because constantly they show that battle of me and you going at it and goddamn and i thought i had it on you it was close and then you said i thought you did too my heart was racing i was like oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck i was like just say this last thing and you said it and it was, oh, you would eat my pussy if it was deep fried. Yeah. And- <laughs> that was a hit. I, I said that. I was like, we'll see. Because cause, wh- there's this game. In- if you're watching and you don't know, goddamn. Yeah, goddamn. goddamn. I apologize. Yeah, hey, hallelujah. <laughs> Got. R.I.P. My soul. Um, <laughs> there's a game. And it's just roasting. And, and I tell you, even when you said it, in my mind, I had yeah. something. 
But the reaction was so was crazy. So crazy. I was like, if I say this bullshit out there, they're gonna look <laughs> yeah. at me like, wah wah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. If like, you go, no, 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 hold up, hold up. And you but say it, something trash, yeah. and it's just like, wah. <laughs> there is nothing more. I would rather have just a good back and yeah. forth than ending on like a little. Right. I was like, yeah. And everybody's just looking at you like, what? And I'm like, <laughs> what were you gonna say? Something about mayo, right? Yeah, I was gonna tell you that. Uh, well, I had two, and that's the yeah. only reason why I didn't go with it. I was gonna say, um, I've never had deep fried mayo before and right. then I had another one was I would eat your pussy but I know that's not seasoned right and but then you added to it and you ran past <laughs> gassing up the whole crowd I can't come I, back I, after that I, 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 do, I, do. I yeah. work on my I work on my own hype a lot that, um, was, that was your blackest moment when yeah. you make people laughing oh that, yeah, I literally like, ran Daddy. Ran backstage right. and came back out. Did and like you're a doing laps, lap. so I felt like you were yeah. even more insulting because you know uh, I'm not going to run laps. I, 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 I knew he was going to run laps. Then I started running laps around you because I got stuck in your yeah, orbit. Yeah, I was. And like, <laughs> <laughs> that I was, was like, fun though. God. That was a historic. People bring it up to you a lot. Oh my god! Wow, I apologize. They're like, yeah, you were doing good until Maddie came <laughs> with that. I'm like, I know. That's funny. There's nothing I could do. That's funny. I actually hate that game. <laughs> Why? Because it. you're the queen of it. No, because it stresses me out. I get nervous about forgetting stuff and I feel like when someone else says something and it gets momentum, you're like, fuh, 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 fuh. No. <laughs> you are the gentrification of goddamn. Hilarious. It was four niggas at first. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Maddie came and I came there's in a Starbucks now. All pristine. <laughs> I came all cleaned up. Like it used to start with, if you don't get your goddamn yeah. blah, 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 I was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. You're gay. <laughs> in every season, you could just tell how less Maddie gave a fuck because yeah. at first you were like all prissy and quiet yeah. and then next thing you know you just pulled up and was yeah. just like look I'm here listen look. I know first season I had <laughs> curls I had curls yeah. I had curls I had the a wardrobe was going crazy with me space buns yeah you had a lot now it's, it's just, what up uh, well, hey, I showed up this is who I am <laughs> to the point where they gotta ask did y'all go to wardrobe like, yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah we did <laughs> they would be like yeah Maddie we need you in hair and makeup I'm like I was there I was there <laughs> yeah this is it bitch I just like feel like like my first season was so much makeup. It was like Atlanta makeup. Yeah. Like my like the guy the makeup. I feel like when I have makeup guys and they lift their pinky when they're like mm -hmm. putting all that shit on me, I'm like, this is about to be a heavy, heavy. Well, it's Atlanta, you know. Yeah. Yes, yeah. queens. Yes, you know queens. I mean? so like, you don't get a lot of guys and they doing makeup. Made me look like RuPaul. Like <laughs> I mean, like the contour, like, <sighs> like insane. Well, they probably had to adjust because they're not used to, you know. <laughs> White people. I was gonna say pale. But oh yes, white is definitely great too. They they like the lightest the lightest color they had for me was the color of this mic stand. This orange. Your first season, you got light skinned makeup. I got literally. I came out there looking like Ciara. I was like, hey y'all. <laughs> yeah, it was insane. Oh, they put um they put like extensions in my hair. You had weave. Yeah, they put they literally. I had the guy blow drying a fuck like glue Good into Lord. my hair. This season, like, they would be like, they would be, this season, they were like, what about a pony? No. 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 <laughs> nope. In and literal out. Mm -hmm. In and, I just, like, hate the time it takes. Yeah, it's a lot. And then you're holding up somebody else who actually cares about it. Yes. Where you're like, look. Yeah, I don't want to see Pretty V. <laughs> I don't want to see Justina pacing. I don't want to see them pacing <laughs> in hair and makeup. I'm like, get nah, out. Not even them. You, when you see Santuan out there waiting, oh, like, come on, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. When San <laughs> Santuan, the resident gay. I, is there any more gay people or no? Uh, Candy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Candy. And Ooh. Rip. T and Rip. Yeah. Oh, LOL. LOL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which everyone knows but him, allegedly. <laughs> so, and it's just wilding out. Inside info. And we've been on a lot of seasons. I would say we're co- We're like, you came on two seasons before me. Yeah, because I've done 10 now. Including this past. Yeah, that was right? my 10th one. Yeah, and I, that was my eighth. Yeah. Because before that, I, I would be like, I'm on seven seasons. Now it's like seven to yeah, eight. Because they shot the two back to back. Yeah. So that added to the... The two back to back took me from like a new person to like... <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I started Cause we yeah. shot the whole month Yes And we were like By the, the last week or so Everybody was like y You got jokes? Like nah I ain't got that nothing That was <laughs> insane Yeah these motherfuckers Tried to do two seasons Back to back So we were there for a month oh Like God. boarding school Was that in New York? We or? did it in Atlanta Oh yeah And we did 1920 yeah. 52 episodes Back to back And we did One season was one color scheme Yeah The next season was back to red and black oh So it was a whole And then they'd be like This one's actually 
eventually going to be season 19. So we're going to have to get you back into yeah, the you had to keep yeah. up with. I was like, wait, yeah. when does this air? Because yeah. I said something else that doesn't make sense now. I know. <laughs> it was so confusing. It was like banking podcast episodes, <laughs> just like changing shirts. You're like, okay. <laughs> like, and then they had Kevin Hart and Cat Williams come in like the end. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm so, so cool. tired. And, and, and Kevin Hart came in the midst of he was on his lunch break yes. from shooting a movie yes. oh my God. and in on Atlanta. his lunch break shot our episode yeah. and then went back to the movie oh my God. remember when we did four episodes in a day yeah four because Kevin Hart oh was God. coming in yeah. I don't know why I'm censoring myself yeah that was weird <laughs> I was like I'm not allowed to say four episodes remember when we did <laughs> I was like in, I just said nigga uh, <laughs> nigga's whoa, okay but four episodes not hey you can't say that here we don't say that word here <laughs> M- Maddie didn't say it I said it <laughs> I don't know which camera is me they, but they put, I said it <laughs> they put out a deep fake of me saying it <laughs> it's gonna be an AI yeah. we heard Maddie say it <laughs> I'm actually surprised like I haven't been you ever see anything on Twitter anything like any jokes you've ever said that people were like nah too far too far or like like mm-hmm. edge like toe the line I remember like someone on Twitter once posted like nah Maddie Smith what's this though and it was the Spoken reasons where I said Black Lives Matter, but oh, not so much you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it started get, you getting. You got a, shit for that? Yeah, I got like a social justice girl being like, "Nah, what, what the fuck is this though?" Wow. And people are like, "So, Maddie Smith, explain yourself." <laughs> like, yeah, I yeah. see comments towards you, but yeah. I read them and I'm like, I hope they don't think Maddie gives a fuck about anything. Yeah, I, oh, I also that don't give say. a fuck. Yeah, like that yeah. was it's a waste of time to even type that. Did you ever get any? I, it was crazy. Is I get hate for being fat. Mm-hmm. Like legit People <laughs> yes. are like Oh it's so funny To be diabetic It's so funny To be over right. And I'm like Bruh It's <laughs> no. If you look at every other comment in here, it's somebody making a fat joke about me. I so, lit you. How do you I, have I a problem go, with you're it? You're a fucking hack. Right. It doesn't yeah. make any fucking sense. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It's like it's like when I made a joke post on Halloween looking like Ice Spice and I said like no yeah, no, yeah, ice, no, no ass Spice ass or, or something. something. And oh. you look it was a legit costume though. I saw that. It was just that crazy. was fire. I like to post like fake, like goofy thirst traps and being like, and it's amazing. Look how goofy I am and also hot. Because you sell <laughs> ass without having ass. Isn't it insane? It's amazing. It's, I'm like a snake oil salesman. You're hey, everybody, literally. get your ass. Come get your ass. Come get your ass. You're you're like me. the McDonald's shake machine. Yeah, like, I know. It's yep. advertised. Yep. You yep. can obviously get a mm-hmm. McFlurry. But it's but not there. The ass machine yeah, is broken. It's broken. <laughs> so you ain't getting any ass tonight. <laughs> you could get your scoop somewhere else. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I and I'm is actually I gotta uh, check what the date was. I got a tweet from somebody that told me that in eight years we will be at my funeral, and I said challenge accepted. So I got to get the date of when this guy had tweeted that to me because if you don't think I'm going to outlive them fucking eight years, yeah, come on. That's my goal now. We're going to have a party. Come on. You like, can. Ah, you're I'll, wrong. I'll be, at your, I'll be at your I'm still we alive party. I'm still alive party. I will be there and I'll be, Solid. I'll be eating cake. I'll be feeding you cake. I'm a, and I'm going to love that. Yeah, it's going to be Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. Um, and I'm going to get his tweet on my shirt yes. just so he knows. And we should all wear it. Yeah. We should get it tattooed right here. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. So what year? So what? How old you would you be then? Well, I don't remember when he tweeted. I think it was like three years ago. So I think I have okay. five more years now. Okay, you can make so, it five, yeah, years. five years. Yeah, that's easy. Do you I feel healthy cut, these days? Yeah, I cut back a little gummy bears a little bit. Yeah, it takes like all you have to do is like one less gummy bear a day. One bag or one? <laughs> Just one gum- less. Oh, that's even better. Than I was gonna say a less. bag, but yeah, I could cut three gummy bears out a day. Do you? What well, do you feel healthy right now? In real life, I yeah. actually am in. Uh, uh, healthier, yeah. I'll say because um, you know life be life, and, and yeah. there was some you know family things that came up where you know everybody had to start taking their health yeah, a little bit, definitely. you know, serious. Yeah. So you know everybody started making little adjustments, and I'm not saying I'm out here eating salads every day and no, and got a Peloton and no shit like that. No, but, no, 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 no Peloton. But like I walked here, yeah, not by actual choice. I didn't realize the garage <laughs> that I chose was <laughs> as far as it was, <laughs> and I was I was walking here and I said, "Ain't this a bitch?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, so some accidental cardio. Yeah, like, we love how it. God, too. how dare you get me my steps in today? <laughs> how dare you make me go an extra avenue? Yeah, it, it was Rude crazy. Hell. I parked in that garage only because um, I got a, a discount code for them because I have a monthly, you know, a, mm-hmm. a, a midtown. So I'm walking here and I don't walk like four blocks. Mm-hmm. 
Come to find out the same garage that I get the code at is a one street from here. Oh my God. So I could have parked yeah. one street away right. and been here and not had to get any of my steps in. Oh, this is good though. But Jesus knew I was going to have gummy yeah. bears later. So he was like, yes. look, get your steps in, my nigga. He giveth and he taketh. Amen. <laughs> yes. Do you wear Absolutely. an Apple Watch or anything? God, I got oh, me. Oh. Yeah, see what I'm saying? I got maybe my little Samsung watch. It looked fake, <laughs> like, but it's a it's a digital watch. It's a smart watch. Yeah, yeah it, it is. Oh, really? Let me see. You know what I mean? Oh, so look they, at that. Oh, but people, I made it. That's cool. I bought look this one that. so it looks like a real watch. Yeah, so people real. don't ask me, oh, look at yeah. you with your Fitbit. Yeah. And like, no, shut the fuck yeah, up. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah. But I'm really am getting yeah. my steps in. That's see, I really stopped cool with the Apple Watch because it kept telling me to stand up. Yeah, I hate that. Don't tell me what to do. The Apple Watch, I was like, breathe, breathe, breathe. I'm literally kicking out the classroom. My Apple Watch is like, breathe. I'm like, I don't have time. Yeah, this watch would be, it'd be like, it's time to get up. I'm yeah. like, who no, said it's, it's time to get up? No, it's literally I'm not. I'm straight. Suck my D. Go to hell. Apple Watch, Samsung Watch, Apple Watch. Sometimes I wish it was like Alexa so I could so it could say that to me and I could be like, um, nigga, you don't see the steps that I did already? Yeah. <laughs> There's no, I don't need to walk Did no you more. not hear about the garage I accidentally parked at? Like, come on. Yeah. You should see the average steps that I don't take <laughs> and see the good days and be like, oh, he's straight for the week. Yeah. <laughs> there are sometimes you ever get back from long travel I'll get back from long travel. Sunday, my step count is nine. Oh, yeah. 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 Sometimes I don't even charge it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. like, I don't even want the yeah. world to collect this data. No, I get the emails like, um, did he pass away? Or is it? I'm like, nah, <laughs> no, nah, no. I'm good. Yeah, I just, you just I'm guys, just home. You guys don't need to know <laughs> how much I did not move today. Yeah, I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> well, I know like last season of Wild and Out, you were, what? I think you were like eating more fish. I remember you were eating more oh, fish. Oh, that was, okay. And you were drinking so, more water. So that was... Remember you guys were drinking a lot? You and I yeah, were drinking so a lot of water. So we had a challenge where every hour we're supposed to drink a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. But you know how that, that show works. We're getting pulled so much yeah. and we're on stage a lot of times where that hour may miss. So oh, yeah. the next hour you got to drink two to make right. up. Yeah. And if it was one of them days where you get really behind yeah. on like the four episode day, yeah. we had to drink, I think it was four each at, in one time mm -hmm. and oh. it was like 20 minutes before the next hour came, which the, the next one <laughs> would have came up. So everybody started cheating yeah. by the end and it just ended up falling apart. It's a big ask for a show where it'll be 1 p.m. and then it'll be midnight. Yeah. There's, <laughs> like, there's no in between. Nowhere. Yeah. Sometimes we don't see daylight unless we I know. We walk out in the parking lot. I'm like, yeah, yeah it's still daylight yeah. out here. It's a pretty... And when I try to describe the wild and out schedule to people, they do not grasp it. And then people like, you know, like, Caitlin Clark was playing basketball. Someone to me was like, you can joke about that on Wild and Out next week. <laughs> I'm like, it's SNL. Okay. I'm like, right. yeah, yeah, because it's a topical, like, it's like the Daily Show. Oh right. Yeah. Every day we're in there. They don't know that our last season was so long ago. We, I think we have Diddy jokes that may not make oh. any sense right now. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah, first segment. What's going on with P. Diddy? Listen, That's what, I need yeah. a quick rundown. Trafficking? Listen, I don't, I believe half. Oh, I saw your video. I don't I don't know it's in chase, but <laughs> you don't believe that half? song was so disrespectful to come out during Black History Month. I yeah, yeah, with the black people. Like, yeah, I was oh, like, whips and oh, chase. Uh, yeah, um, I don't want them yeah, either. I'm vanilla. <laughs> I'll choke you. No, what what kind of black history is this? Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow came on Wild and Out before uh before yeah, he was at, before he was yeah. what he is now. Yeah, and yeah. his face did was a lot softer. <laughs> I think I was on that episode too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, look at it. Every, there's a lot of people that start on that show where you were like, I don't know who that is. Doja Cat. And then later on, that's like huge. Doja Cat, Saweetie. Well, black people knew about Doja Cat and Sweetie. Okay. There's a new. lot of guests who I'm like, who is that? Yeah, and I'm they're sure. like, Neo. <laughs> Who's that? Barack Obama. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, that's what he looks like. <laughs> yeah, fucking uh, who, uh, Wyclef came yeah. on. Oh, yeah. I took the mic from him during the rap battle. You were there in the audience. Yes. I took the mic and I was like, I don't know you. Anyway, Justina, <laughs> listen up. Everybody was like, <gasps> Yo. not Wyclef. Yeah. Who would you say is your favorite guest ever? People always ask that. Oh, favorite guest? I don't know. What's your actually. favorite moment ever? For me, it yeah. was... Um, recently, I think it was season 20, um, because I called my mama during, um, uh, Plead during the Fifth. Plead the Fifth. Yes. Which is a game where you have to challenge, like, Nick Cannon or the guest to either answer a question or they plead the Fifth. It's like so, yeah, so it's like an insane question. I forgot like, we got to explain that for, like, 
white people that don't watch the show. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a lot no, of I whites out there that. who are just like, they have. Especially <laughs> your fan base now. You keep going on these tours where I know. they got cowboy hats and stuff. I on. know. I see that. It's so. insane. Yeah. They're like, I, fa- I saw you on Facebook Reels. <laughs> 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 Freaks! I had a guest on this podcast who was like, "I've never seen Wild Enough." Really? Yeah. That's so hilarious. I always try to explain more. No, no, I, just I, I in understand. Case. It makes sense. Just in case, so it's a black show. I'll yes. start there. Okay, first off, um, yes, Nick Cannon. Yes. is Drumline. Yeah, from Drumline. Yes, yes, he owns the show, and he puts on a, a multicultural. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a gala of yeah, sorts. Yes. It's a bazaar. It's, it's like the United Negro College Fund. <laughs> <laughs> where he just gives back to the community. He keeps giving and, yeah. giving, and he'll give. Yeah, Nick he will give. He will give. I will tell you, out of everybody I've met, Nick is top two. And, and I can't even... I'm only saying two because I don't want to just give somebody the number one spot without yeah, thinking true. about it. Yeah. But Nick you know, is hands down the humblest person I've ever met in my life to have that much money. Yeah, and to also just want to keep creating right. stuff. For other people. Yeah. He'll come, he's come to me multiple times like, I was going to pitch something to Bravo with you being, I'm like, well, uh, you pitch away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I want to see if it's okay. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Drop my name anywhere you want. Yeah, I got a, um, me and him got a show coming out. It's, it's a podcast or whatever, mm-hmm. but show type of vibe or whatever, but he's kind of like just backing it. Okay, like the yeah. idea type of thing. Awesome. Like He's Nick Cannon like, presents, yeah. kind of. But the thing about it is, Nick is, I think he believes in people too much <laughs> where like, we'll come up with this idea yeah. together, we'll have a couple meetings and he's like, all right, you got it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't have it at all. You were supposed to be like the guy putting me. Yeah, I thought I we were together. Yeah, wait a second. Yeah, I, I think something was happening, and I had I had to talk to him, and I was like, hey, you know, you know, I'm struggling with this, and I mm-hmm. I don't think we should do this. But he goes. I mean, it's your show. Go, go do that then. Right. And I'm like, right. Oh, oh. all right. Uh, I will go uh, figure that out. <laughs> Sorry, stupid question. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been uh, eight months and the show still is not out because Got it. <laughs> he has left it up to me. Got to, it. And, and I'm still trying to learn on the fly. And you're still just walking from the parking garage. So I, listen, things take time. If shit like that keeps happening, this I show's know. never going to come out. It's never coming out. <laughs> okay, so that's cool. What's the show called? Um... I mean, I, oh, it, you don't it, have to say. No, yeah. no, no. It, oh. It's called eating out. <laughs> That's awesome. And yeah. you're, it's eating, like kind of eating together. Uh, yeah, with Courtney's people? actually on it with me. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, me and Courtney are doing it. And Courtney B, shout yeah. out. It was funny is I think he just paired us because we're big. And when we came with the idea, he's like, "Yeah, Courtney will be great for it." I was like, "I mean, I love Courtney." Bam, that's it. I'm like, all right. Courtney's on You know what else would be good? Clips. <laughs> <laughs> Name it all the fat people. <laughs> it's hilarious. But yeah, no, we're um, like, no bullshit. It's been like seven months. But yeah. Because like I say, Nick believes so much in his people that I think it's, it's <laughs> sometimes you got to like show up yeah. to make sure that they really do got it. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of us, you know, like I said, he's giving back to so many people that normally aren't in any space. So when you get put in this position to be great, it's mm-hmm. like, wait a minute. Well, I don't know none of this shit. So I'd be on Google yeah. learning terms and shit like it's that. It's a lot. Yeah, people be asking me stuff and I'm like, yeah, I know what that means. Of course. Um, I also feel like the business part of um, like putting a show together is like way over a lot of our heads. So, uh, and um, We're all freak creatives. Yeah, we got... um. Uh, Nori from Drink Champs. Mm-hmm. Nori, Nori is on one of the episodes and he had said in the interview where it's like he prefers just being a worker sometimes versus mm-hmm. being a boss. Because he's like, when you're a boss yeah. and you have to do this and pay this person that and cover that, he's like, that shit is exhausting. Yes, it is. And I didn't understand that mm-hmm. when he said it to me. I'm like, what? Who want, doesn't want to be a boss and get paid boss money? Now, in this situation, mm-hmm. trying to get this show going? Yep. Uh, no, nah, I'm good. I Just, think about hire it me. all the time. When I started stand up at for fun as a fun activity, I did not know I was going to be a small business owner. <laughs> I did not know I was going to be filing taxes as an S corporation yeah, yeah. and having vendors and vendees and all sorts of BS that I just started for fun because yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk and have people laugh. And nothing's worse than the, um, I don't know if you experienced the, the net 30, net 50, where mm. 
you don't get paid for this amount of days. Like yes. a lot of colleges do this where, yes, 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 yeah, yes. we have a net 75. Like, who the fuck wants to wait 75 days Literally. to get my money? Yes. Why? Why? Like who the hell invented that? I have no you, idea. I should be walking away with that in my account. I'm currently right now right. waiting for a check for a show I did November 30th. <laughs> so sorry. I didn't Literally mean to laugh, but right that was now. so long ago. That's insane. Yeah. For a college. Yep. Yeah. It's stuff like that, that you're like, and on top of that, your business is you. Your yeah. business is you and your personality. And I was like, so if this goes down, you're like, I suck. Yeah. <laughs> and what's crazy is Cortez, who did the show with me, yeah. got paid. Yeah. And they zelled him. I said, well, y'all offered me Zell. And I Weird. said, I'll take Zell. Yeah. And then you sent it to me. <laughs> but I didn't ask you to Weird. send it to me. Weird. Yeah, I have it's no idea. It's that kind of shit. Yeah. It's that kind of shit that it's you're like, what's... That- What's yeah. yeah that independent shit that shit is trash. I it's hard to. I feel like when I had a regular job, I was like so good at my job because I was like I want to please my boss. Exactly yeah, what you're saying. That's it. Now it's just me. I'm like yeah. nah, I don't, I'll write tomorrow. Yeah, and then I especially like you said with the taxes thing. I don't know what I'm filing. I just now I see how people that are are recognizable get got by like accountants and shit. Like, yes. I just be signing shit. Like, yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> I met with a business manager recently and he was like, of course we would have access to your credit card accounts. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Is that like, supposed to be how it goes? I don't know. I think you can choose how much to give. Yeah. But I suppose if your entity is you, yeah. then someone else should be on but everyone makes it sound so normal. So it's like you just go along with yes. it. Yes. And then I've like, never heard one good story about any yeah. money manager that didn't steal from somebody. Yeah. I've heard a lot of horror stories about every sort of industry person. <laughs> yeah. Agents, managers, business Everything. managers, lawyers, like talent. They look at us and they're like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I would rather I would Fresh. rather mishandle my own money than yeah. get yeah. got from somebody get got. else. I do not like getting got. No. Every time I get got, I go, I got got and yeah. I'm pissing myself. And when it's you, you could just be like, damn, I fucked that up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Well, now I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't click that link. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. I wanted a free iPhone. <laughs> like, come on. What? <laughs> um, did we want to play a quick segment to sure. mix things up? up to you. What is, oh, we got a game. We got a game. You want to play a game? Of course. Crack some ice. Oh, wait, but first it's tell us your favorite. Ice? No. <laughs> to crack the ice. Oh. But uh, you wanted to tell us your wild and out moment. I interrupted with the pl- explaining plead the fifth. What was my mama? Oh, no. I just you called, called my your mama. mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Nick said he he had a song called Pussy is Fire. Mm -hmm. And I asked him who was inspired that song. And he said, my mama. Yeah. And I was like, well, wait a minute. I need need to confirm this story. So I walked off and I came back and I FaceTimed. I said, so uh, you had uh, brought some evidence to the room. (laughs) I just want you to clarify that for my mama. Yeah. And she was sitting there waving. Hilarious. (laughs) And he had no idea. He was shocked. But I, the reason that's my favorite moment is because everybody on YouTube and on the internet was commenting about how beautiful my mother is. Oh and my stuff. God. And she saw these comments and it made her so, and she was telling her friends, my episode is airing. And so, so cute. So it was like, it had nothing to do with me. I just love the fact that yeah. my mother was able to get that type of love. So cute. I remember that. I was like, oh. cause you're always so good at coming, like thinking outside the box on like every time you go random pulling out shit random stuff or we'll play plead the fifth he'll go up with like a big file (laughs) he's like sorry I'm late I was in the food I thought it was a food court like there's always (laughs) a joke I thought thought you said show up the food court there's always a joke we play a game called kick him out the classroom it's just (laughs) a bunch of desks and you got how do we you go what we doing in the classroom I'm sitting with Mac in the classroom and I got me a snack in in the the classroom classroom. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh, kick him out the classroom and it goes like a little but snake I love that game because I get to eat and he, he all the time he he was like I feel like you started like the personalization of the game like, yeah. um, and he'll he has a big desk mm-hmm. Big Mac's desk is huge they made it for me because <laughs> in real life every desk is you know every desk is this big yeah. and then his is Nice. Because I kept getting ki- there's so many episodes where I got kicked out because my knees get caught his, oh, under the, the desk. The desk gets stuck on him because they want you to stand up, yeah, ideally, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. for camera purposes. Right. So every time I try to stand up, my knees would hit the desk, and I used to get so frustrated. I'm like, Nick, these desks aren't for fat yeah. people yeah. and tall for- people. Yeah, yeah. So one really. season I came yeah. in and they said, Matt, we have a surprise for you. 
And I was like, so All right. cute. And it's this big, it's the same desk, <laughs> yeah. except Giant. huge. That's huge. Awesome. It's it so got funny. Got my name on it. And we'll I was like, yeah. oh my God. So funny. You and the props department are yeah. like so oh, funny. They, every time I'd be like, hey guys, look. So I just want to tape meat to my chest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? And they're like, um, Come this way. what type of meat paws? And yeah. I'm like, I don't know, ham? Yeah. Yeah. Because one episode I pulled my hamstring. Yes. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I told him I messed up my hamstring and I needed to, some advice on how to fix it. And then I lifted my shirt and I had ham taped all around my stomach. <laughs> but when I came up with that idea and I told the props people, I came back like maybe like an hour later yeah. and they had all these different versions of ham. Oh my God. They had sliced yes. ham. They had a whole <laughs> They're ham. They're nerds. They had <laughs> they had ham hawks. Yeah, yeah. They get I was excited. Like, Where yeah. did y'all get all this, yeah. bro? So so like, we don't get a lot of requests, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> Because <laughs> it is a super minimal show. Yeah, There's yeah. one game that has got called Got Props yeah. where we'll do the two props, which they always suck ass. Yeah. I'm always like, what it's... am I going to do with this tampon? <laughs> <laughs> and then they have the other game that's, um, hey, yo, oh, what you call that? Oh, yeah. With the that... big, yeah, big, yeah, the big one. Game. It's a, uh, yeah, it's I'm always so like, horrible. I call this Hitman. <laughs> Why? I, I had it in me. <laughs> I was like, Maddie's jokes a lot of time. You would have think she smashed half the cast the way, or uh, at least no, I'm like, attempted. Like what? I like go. I like. I have a great Sorry. relationship with my dad. I don't know why. Nah. Every time I go up there, I'm like, "Hey, you want to fuck me in the ass?" I saw in one of your podcasts. I mean, it may have been one before this. Mm -hmm. That time you, of the week, where you told the story about the uh, the cast party. Oh my god. Yes. Blackout. You see me blackout. I you see have, me blackout. I don't know. See, and I, I'm glad I'm on here. Yeah. Um. So I could tell the the best part of it because I was with Please, you for a good amount everything. of that time. And I have talked about this on the podcast how I black no, out and the just best let people. Part of that is first off, you tried to tongue kiss everybody and their mom. <laughs> I was one of them and you were like, I and was like, hey, Maddie, <laughs> my people. When <laughs> everyone was like, I'm good. <laughs> but what was funny to me is they kept walking you back to your room. Yes. And <laughs> every back. time you came back, you were in a different outfit. Hilarious. So I don't know what you did in the room <laughs> where you're like, you know what? Yes. I didn't get no kisses this time. <laughs> Maybe it's the shorts. Maybe I got to change into <laughs> something a little sluttier. It was like four times. What's up, Cortez? <laughs> 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 and they walk you up and you came back. What's up, guys? I'm How about like, now? Maddie's back. How about now? Maddie, no, you're supposed to be in bed. Because we uh, we would always party in the hotel because we would stay in these hotels for two weeks. Big ass party. Yeah. You know I me. Mean? And they would get alcohol and they cover the bars so you just can drink all you want and, you know, people partake with and they just loose. And Maddie was just, you see her rubbing on somebody like, mm -hmm. yeah, so. Yeah. This season was fun. I'm like, Maddie, go upstairs. <laughs> now I'm like on the producers. I'm like, so like, would you say like I'm the smartest cast member? <laughs> the producers oh. too, they get fucked up. Everyone gets fucked up. Because it's like such a release from working every, every day. Uh, every day for like 12 just like, days yep, straight. We're pounding Casamigos. Yeah, but see ya. Nothing, that is probably one of my favorites. Yeah. It, not even just you trying to hook up with everybody. It's yeah. the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what that's took hilarious. me out every time because you're just drunk and you're like, that's this hilarious. shirt's not, yeah. not giving me sexy they vibes. Obviously, <laughs> sent me up here to put on something more comfortable. <laughs> oh my that was God. Jersey City, I think. Yeah. And that was when I think you and I. Had a really good season that, that season was my best because season. the OGs started like coming out. They, a lot of people I, didn't do. They, they were doing like the windowed type well, of they, staggered. They, uh, some people didn't want to take the shot at that time. Oh, the vaccine! Oh. Did the vaccine save my wild and out career? I think so because some people didn't want to come back, and we were like, "We're here." Uh, listen, and they put us in so many episodes. Yeah, they, and they called me, um, like other cast members, because yeah. at one point they were trying to figure out like, "Yo, what are we doing about this shot thing?" Yeah. Like they're making us do it, and they called me. They said, "Yo, Mac." You taking a shot? I said, hell yeah, nigga. I ain't yeah. fucking on my check. And I'm <laughs> the what? I got, I'm like, I was like, I have momentum and I also have to, there's going to be an audience because yeah, we like, had just done that COVID season. Yeah. I was like, I'm there. I will be in I Jersey. You think I'm not going to be? I'm I from am, Jersey. I'm sucking off Fauci. I, I fuck, don't care. I don't care how many shots I got to take. No, no. I'll take it anally. See what I care. <laughs> I tell people all the time, because at that time they were like, well, you don't know what's in the shot. And, right. and I 
I said, I don't know what's in McDonald's chicken nuggets that they yeah. keep saying it's real meat yeah. now. Good real point. 100%. Yeah. I'm eating yeah. that. Good point. Yeah, they said Subway tuna is made of yoga mats. Come so. on now. There's some very <laughs> unclean yeah. women that I've eaten that probably way <laughs> yeah. worse than the Johnson <laughs> than and Johnson the vaccine. shot. Yeah. 1, Actually, the Johnson Johnson probably prevented you from getting... <laughs> Gunnery up. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and now you do stand up, right? Yeah. And you work at the Breakfast Club. You producer yep. there? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm one of the writers. Well, the only writer. But oh, yeah. really? So what happens? You that you come up with segments there? I write all the like. I write. I do all the research on the guests that come up there. Oh, that's a good and, job. And write some questions. Mm -hmm. Um, I help Charlemagne sometimes with Donkey. Mm -hmm. Um, I gotta edit the actual interviews like for really? for the radio. Wow. Not the video. I don't do the video. <laughs> okay, I so just do the audio. So when you listen to it, all the interviews oh, are like mean. an hour long, mm -hmm. and I got to cut them to twenty minutes. Got it. So that takes that's forever. A lot. Yeah. Probably listen the whole thing through, and then all the curses. Yeah. You got to cut out the curses yeah. and the stutters. And yeah. So that that takes a, a good amount of my time. So that's every day, every ep one episode, every day. Right. Uh, it, it could be they do two or three episodes really? I mean interviews yeah. sometimes so I might have to cut two of them it's a long it's a long club yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely is it's a wow. nice environment though right yeah yeah no, no, nice. it's, a, it's a, definitely a vibe you know what I mean and um, I actually started with the breakfast club when I started radio 10 years ago oh okay I was their yeah. intern and then oh. I left because they, got it. That, yeah, they didn't have a job at that time, so I left, got in a job somewhere else in in Boston. Yeah, okay, yeah, I remember you said I you was in Boston, Boston for two years. Did you start stand up there? Where did I start stand? No, I started stand up twenty eighteen. Um, After crazy, Wild and Out, right before I got Wild and oh, Out. Oh, okay. Literally, Weird. maybe like two months before. Where? <laughs> Where did I get wilding out? Yeah. Or where did I start stand up? Where'd you, I mean, where, where, where did you spot. start stand up? And where were you living when you got so wilding I've out? I've always done stand up like randomly. Mm -hmm. Like if I see an open mic or a stand up mm -hmm. com competition or whatever, I, I through the years I've mm -hmm. randomly done here and there, but I never took it serious. I never wrote jokes. I would just right. go up there and, you know, people be like, oh, I could go on stage and be yeah. funny. Right. I was doing that. Yeah. Um, and then I did. I did an audition for, I think it was Last Comic Standing okay. in the city years ago. And I sat outside all day long with all the people for the oh audition. God. Nightmare. And you get in there yeah. and they're like, you got two minutes, make us oh, laugh. Oh my God. And I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't yeah. think this was how this audition was going to be. Right. And it was trash. Right. Wilding Out in 2013, I auditioned. Okay. Um, You're young. And it was horrible. What are you, 22 or something? Some Probably somewhere around there. Young. No, no, no. Probably 25? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I got to do the math. Yeah, but, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I auditioned for okay. that and I have a video from the end of the audition. Oh my God. And it was horrible. Oh my God. It's the worst audition was ever. Was there? Niall was in the video and I didn't know that was him at the time. Oh my God. And he lies to me he, in the video. Yeah, now is the, the okay. big boss. What's he saying? But in the video, he goes, because I shot this video for my mom, so she knew I was really there. And I was like, look, mom, I'm really here at the audition. And now I was like, yeah, he did good. I did not do good. Oh. And Niall lied. And let me tell you why we're here, okay? Oh. Hold on. Because I, and, and I, Niall, I hope you see this. Niall! Let me tell Niall you. Niall Evans, executive producer of Wild He's and the Out. big boss at Wild and Out. He has like coach vibes. Like, yeah, he, I, I call him coach sometimes. Yeah. In Wild and Out, before you start filming, there's a thing called the workshop where it's kind of like boot camp. Yeah. Where it trains you. You learn the games, you know, trying to get you, you know, conditioned for the people, show. with people, see right. if you're good, a team player. My first season, it's, we did... It's a very serious environment. No, no, this is... I will never let this go. Yeah. My first season, season they 12. had a wild style. Yeah. And I cooked. White people cooked as I was killing. It's like I was doing, doing well, really well. Like doing really well. I dropping was, bars. Yeah, yeah. I was cooking. I cooked like five people in yeah, a row. Love that feeling. Killing it. He makes his big speech at the end. You know what I mean? You guys aren't serious. This and that. If we were Showtime right now, there's only three of you guys that would take the battle with me. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get, get, get focused. Like, they were like, Cortez. So that's my dog, Cortez. They were like, Julie. I'm like, I mean, Julie didn't even... Yeah, she yeah. didn't even she didn't even go today, but okay, yeah, okay, Julie's dope. Had a good and they week. were like, and Candy, I said, like, Candy's not even here. <laughs> what the <laughs> What are you talking about? And Tyler Chronicles, shout out to Tyler. Tyler goes, 
he probably didn't see you, big guy. I'm like, no. <laughs> Hilarious. No, he saw me. I'm the biggest person on the show. Wow. And I just did so good. And he named everybody yeah. but me. Ever since that moment, yeah. I was like, this motherfucker is going to love me. Yes. Yeah. Now is my my mission yeah. for him to know that I am good at this show. He knows now. Oh, for I'm literally, no, because I still did it last season. I run everything by that man now mm -hmm. to make sure he's, I'll be like, hey, look, mm -hmm. can I run these jokes by yeah. you? He'll go, yeah. nope, and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll wait a second. Yeah, I'll find him sitting Hilarious. down somewhere. And I'll come yeah. back and I'll be like, <laughs> so uh, I got this joke, right? He'd be like, nope, nope. don't want to hear it. And I'd be like, come on. He'd be like, whoa, you clearly, you're still on the show and you're still doing good. You yeah. know it's going to work. I said, yeah, but every year, Every season, I do this. I yeah. run it by you. So why are you trying to fuck up our momentum yeah, now? Yeah, come on, dude. By changing because you think I'm good. This right. goes back to what I say. Stop yeah. believing so much in people yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I need you to be here yeah. so I can run this by you. Yeah. 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 Niall is so... Um, since my first season, I've been living in fear of him. Yeah. <laughs> He's like and your he's father always, figure yeah, yeah, where you want to bring the A home yeah, yeah. to show him this. Very like intimidating. <laughs> and that's how you know he's good yeah. because even if you're good on the show, you're still like, I want him to like, yeah. I, want, I want him to respect me. It is and like he, a coach vibe. Yeah. yeah he very, very rarely laughs hard. Yeah. If he finds it funny, he'll just go, it's hilarious. Yeah. Hol yeah, he'll go, <laughs> hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> and then, but after an episode, if you cr crush, he'll come out yeah. to the stage and be like, yeah, he'll, yeah. No. he'll be like, <laughs> One time he was like, you are nuts. Yeah. Maddie, Maddie and DC get it the most. Uh, no. Yes. no. Maddie and no, DC get it the most. And sometimes on. I just be sitting on the side like, come on. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I didn't Guess get what? that Even when other people get it I'm like What the fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if Maddie had probably Just cooked like five people And everybody And their mom comes out Yo Maddie You kill it Kill it And when I see Niall yeah. That's the only time I'm like A word Yeah I did um, good last episode yeah, too Yeah <laughs> Niall's love is like we all want to be sucking at his tea he'll be like you get one episode yeah. to show us why we should pay for you to still be here yeah. and those people will fuck around and then they <laughs> I don't know if you got this not this version of now and now I'm gonna tell all the stories Niall oh, my yeah. first season he was <laughs> he told us if y'all fuck around you gonna fall into a flight which yeah, means we're flying you home. We will send you home with the quickness. And he says that all the time. He said our travel department is the best. Yeah. And it was, I think it was my third season. There, I don't want to say his name, but there was a guy on there and he completely fucked up the whole That was my first season. The um yeah. the wild style. Mm -hmm. And he kept screaming, mm -hmm. yo, let me rap, mm -hmm. let me rap. You know mm -hmm. what I'm talking? When I tell you we stopped filming at mm -hmm. 10 30 at night. Mm -hmm. When we came to set at 9.30 in the morning, he had already caught the flight and been gone. <laughs> like, he, he and, and it's not like, like, they don't act like it didn't happen. He'll come in and go, you see people missing, huh? Yeah. No, he'll be like, circle smaller. <laughs> yeah, circle smaller. You've huh? noticed. All right, let's get to work. Let's get <laughs> to work. Zip, zap, zap. I don't need any of you. I don't need, <laughs> I, I not have, one I don't of you. I don't need any of you. I can go with this show with the same four people. people. It'll be just as good. And we stand there with our hands behind our back. Like, yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, now you wild out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Circle up. We're playing talk and spit. And yeah. then it's back into comedy mode. Like, eh, 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 yeah. eh, eh, eh. and then I was like, why? Why did that work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, try, like part of wild and out is just like kind of training people how to um, be funny. Because mm -hmm. some people get on and that's not to shit talk, but some people get on and. No, it doesn't they, work for a lot they, of people. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different, it's a different, it's a very goofy goofy and you got to be super confident with yourself yeah. like you cannot yeah. if you have any cracks in your confidence yeah. that show will fuck they it will up. know like if you can't project Niall will be like louder yeah I know louder, louder. <laughs> in front of everyone I'm in the back my face is getting red I'm like for the person yeah they um there's one one season where I went out there, instead at the very beginning I went out there and I told a joke and I thought it was gonna kill yeah. and it was crazy. And somebody in the said, world. That is somebody said, horrifying. huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs>
That is the worst <laughs> feeling in the world. And especially when you think it's going to do great. Oh you're just God. like, wait, what? I go, wait, what? Yeah. I went out there smiling. And I was like, yeah. yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. Huh? And then you got to turn around and walk Worst back. Worst feeling. <laughs> Worst feeling, just like everyone in your team avoids eye contact. Yeah, it's like, mm. <laughs> yeah, if someone's like, you, you okay? Yeah, you straight. <laughs> so you're doing stand up too on top of the Breakfast yeah. Club. Now touring a lot. I wouldn't say a lot. Me and uh, me and Cortez, shout out to Cortez. We uh, we started our our own little tour called um, Wilding Through Thick and Thin mm -hmm. because. He's um, tiny. Cortez is this. Yeah, big. he's the thick so, part yeah. of the show. Pause. And they'll do. And I'm the thinner side of it. And they'll do um, stuff like Cortez will get on Max back. Because in the in the wild style, Cortez is he's so small. Yeah. It's tough for him in the wild style. That's the end rap where they, for white people. Yeah. It's the end it's, rap where you cook. Yeah, it's every man for themselves. There's no order. There's no. It's just get up there and say your shit. Mm -hmm. And Cortez is he's smaller in mm -hmm. stature. So people be bullying him yeah. where they don't let him go. So I was like, Cortez, jump on my back, bro. I got Aww. you. Yeah. So he got on my back yeah. and I pushed through. I said, shut up, everybody. Moving. <laughs> Cortez like, yeah. shut up, shut, shut up. up. And I'm like, go ahead, say your rap. <laughs> and then you kind of go back and forth. Yeah. Pretty cool. But my whole goal, I'm so, I, the only time I ever go is because if the what we thought was the out didn't wasn't the out. Yeah. And then when people started catching on to what we do. Yeah. They started preparing, so they would leave me up there. So I'm holding Cortez. Yeah, and uh, people are like, it looks like a flea on a <laughs> yeah, dog. On a dog. <laughs> like, it looks like doo-doo on an elephant. Yeah. And, and by the way, yeah. you look... <laughs> and I'm just yeah. holding them up. I'm like... <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I'm like, all right, this is fun. Let I me know. go back now. I know, because people really get... People won't let you... <laughs> people won't let like it just end. No, it, like, never just end. Yeah. yeah, yeah, There's a, a couple battles. But, yeah, but we got a, a little tour that we're doing, and... um. It's it's very ground level. So like we're still doing spot dates. We're mm -hmm. still building up an audience. We haven't sold out a show yet, but in due time and God's time, it is going to happen. And it's just kind of like, you know what I mean? Figuring it out. Yeah. Because very much, you know, I still am very new. I'm not confident on stage in my yeah. mind. Right. When I'm out there though, you'll never know that. Oh, you'll but never know. Yeah. In my mind, I, this time I'm like, what the fuck am I about to do? Right. So it's definitely still figuring that out. But... um. It's a fun show. Have I you been to... getting up in New York? No, we haven't done New York yet. We or do you do spots in New York? Like you talk like about the shows? regular clubs? Yeah. I haven't, and I'm going to keep it honest, it's because the Breakfast Club, I have Your to schedule's be... Your schedule's insane. ...at work at 5 a.m. And you've always had an insane schedule. Yeah. It's radio. Yeah, so, so... it's a really incompatible... It's it's really tough to to be like, I'm going to go do these yeah. four clubs yeah. till three, no, and yeah. then... It's a whole the, other beast. Yeah. It's a whole beast. So it's tougher, especially being up here, because I live in Jersey, yeah. so I got to wake up at three, get on the road at four, mm -hmm. to be at work by five. You grew up in Jersey. Yep. And what was your upbringing like? Um, Black. Yes. <laughs> Yes. No, I mean, you know, I had, yes. you know, parents. <laughs> Where in uh, Jersey? Uh, I was born in like Plainfield, which is, mm -hmm. depending on <laughs> who you are, it's either Central Jersey or North Jersey. It's a whole dumb argument. Yeah. But then I moved down like right outside of Camden, okay. closer okay. to Philly. Yeah. You know, when I was like two or three. So With your mom? Yeah. But my mom, uh, my dad and my little brother... Um, but then my my parents split. I think when I was in the fifth grade or whatever. Okay. But it wasn't like a. I don't I don't like saying they split. Yeah. I just say they broke up because my dad was there every fucking day. He oh, okay. Was, he's not one of those. He like fathers. moved away and then but just was no, hanging that out. That man Still, was there yeah. every day. Yeah. My mother's a teacher. Oh, okay. So he would come in the morning so yeah. that she could go to work to watch oh, us nice. before we go to school. That's nice. And then he would work the overnights to be there. Like no, he was cool. if there. Every day, if I got in trouble because of his schedule, teachers would give, he would give teachers his card and like, just call me at any time. Nice. I'll pull up there. And one time <laughs> I was sitting in class acting up and I looked up and you remember how the, the classroom windows got that little rectangle and I just saw him standing there. <laughs> oh my God. And I was like, son of a bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> they called him and he sat right there and he said, <laughs> oh my God. Shit. All right. Then whose dad is that? No. It's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Were you a class clown? Unfortunately. Yeah. And I say that because it wasn't like, like I didn't know that was what it was called at that time. 
I until I won my senior year, I won class clown. Oh my god! At this had they had like a who's who award show, mm-hmm. and I actually got kicked out of the award show <laughs> because they told us to only when you won to come up there, accept the award, and get off. Well, I was like, this is my BET award show right. moment. You gave so a speech. So I had like 25 people <laughs> with me. <laughs> you brought an entourage I, well, I, for the I, high school I, superlatives? I, said, I told everybody, I said, look, <laughs> if I win, we all win. That's Let's so go. <laughs> so when they called my name, we're all walking down yeah. and they made an announcement. Please, just the winner on stage. <laughs> Nobody else. And slowly, we were still walking and they said, <laughs> Those of you that go to this school who go on that stage will be reprimanded. Right. Please don't. So people started dying off. And the only people that stayed with me was my brother and my best friend uh, who passed away. But we made it to the end. And then my brother dipped off last second. So it was just me and my best friend. And I went on stage and I made a speech. And I thank God, my mama, <laughs> Russell Simmons, Michael Jackson. Oh and when I got to Michael Jackson, they cut my mic off. Oh, my God. So now, <laughs> me and my best friend, we're just on You're stage crazy. screaming. Now we're screaming the rest of the speech. Hilarious. Like, wait a minute. You're... I got to thank the Academy. Oh, my God. And Hilarious. They kicked us out. Is your brother a big guy? Uh, yeah. They kicked yeah, you out? About the same size, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but they kicked us out. And my dad was so pissed off. Because the whole ceremony was like teachers doing bits and yes. jokes. And, yes. and my dad was like, if he's yelling at my principal, yes. I didn't come here to see your motherfucking staff doing yeah. all this book. Your dad's and, an OG. Oh my God. Because he's from Newark. Yeah. Well, East Orange. Yeah. So my mom is like, oh boy. Yeah. You're about to see North, David. So <laughs> <laughs> let's just go. And he's like, oh you know my what? God. He's like, oh yeah. Well, fuck this. We don't got this without. And he said, give me my money back to getting in here. <laughs> and the, my principal was like, Cause I think it was five dollars to get in. Yeah, he was like, five dollars is yeah. hilarious. He was like, uh, I got three dollars, and my dad took his three dollars. He said, "You owe my son two dollars." Oh my god! The next morning in homeroom, my dad called mm-hmm. me. I said, "Dad, I'm in homeroom. What's up?" He goes, "Hey, Mister Murphy owes you two dollars. Go get that my money." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I had to go to the office. I said, "Hey, Mister Murphy, how's it going?" Uh. My dad said you owe him two dollars, oh, so hilar- hilarious. He kind of sent me to kind of get the money. <laughs> yes, from him. And he gave me the two dollars. Your dad sounds like a legend. Yeah, nah, he he got my dad has got kicked out of basketball games when I played basketball. Really? Yeah, he was yelling at the ref. Yeah, and that ref kicked him out. Yeah, and he left for like forty five seconds. Came, came back, back to another door. That's and so just stood funny. There. <laughs> That's and then so he, had, funny. he came to um, practice the next day and apologized. No. But we were like, shit, like, you, you, listen, we ain't got no problem with it. What's your dad's job? Now or then? Well, now he's then. retired. But at the time, he was, um, he worked in Atlantic City as a uh, car dealer for really? like 20, 30 years. Have you been to Atlantic City? Yeah, what? I lived in Atlantic City. Not oh, lived like, but like, yeah, actually, it was right, like, by, yeah. right by where you were. Yeah. I done a lot of comedy there. Really? Yeah. See, Crazy. I have that is I'm a gambler. Yeah. So like Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh my God. That's really? gambling, gambling, playing spades, and eating pussy are my favorite things <laughs> oh. in life. Those three things is like if I could do those three things every really? day, I would absolutely You really like eating pussy that much? Oh, oh my God. It's my favorite thing. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, hey, that's so cool. Come on now. Who, what fat person doesn't like eating things? It's true, yeah. but some dudes just like don't eat pussy. Nah, mm. that, that's I mean I gay guys, I yeah, mean. Yeah, I was gonna say that's yeah. When guys sounds, don't eat me out, I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. so, why would you not want to eat that? No, I know. So you ate, you were at a car deal. You were, you were, dad worked at a car dealership. No, no, in Atlantic City. No, he was a car dealer. He was a oh. he was a dealer. A car he dealer. Was a car dealership in Atlantic car City. Deal- I thought you said like car dealership. <laughs> I just drove your around in Hondas and shit. <laughs> so like, okay, great. My dad yes. got it for me, dude. Your dad was a car dealer yeah. at a casino. Yeah, what in, casino? In, in, um, in resorts. For like 30 really? years, 20, 30 years. Really? Yep. I, we, we used to That's go nuts. when I was younger. That's how to, you got addicted. Yeah, because yeah. we'd have to go and visit him at work. Yeah. And they had like a little section where you could oversee the casino. Yeah. But you weren't allowed yeah, on the yeah, floor because yeah. you're yeah. not 20. So he would come and, and come see us and then he would go back. And um, then, you know, getting older, my, uh, my grandmother, she loved going to the mm-hmm. casino. So it kind of just in my blood. So I used to, uh, I used to work at Wawa. For what? Like, yeah, for like four I didn't years. know you worked at Wawa? What? I am a Wawa legacy. How, I don't know. How did this never come I, up? I've had... Maybe because we've only been Atlanta, yeah. so we never talked about Wawa. No, I have... I love Wawa. Every time I, I, say, I pass one, I reverse. 
<laughs> yeah, no. Wawa's my, I've been Wawa since I was like six. I'm uh, gonna get a hoagie, but keep but going. I've had rent, like regular people jobs. Like, I'm not real people famous. Like, I tell people all the time, I don't right. call myself famous. I say I'm recognizable sometimes. I say I'm recognizable. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm such a regular person. I've had all types of... Re- I worked at telemarketing. Mm, okay. I did the the survey companies. Oh, where that's they a call good one. You. No, that job that, is bullshit. Yeah. And I quit because <laughs> I had to call somebody, you know, going down the list. And I called them. I was like, hey, you know, just ask the server or whatever. Uh, do you have a TV? Mm-hmm. And the guy was like, no, I don't have a TV. I said, okay. I said, uh, do you have a telephone? <laughs> he was like, no. And I was like, well, sir, how am I talking to you then? He was like, you're not. Next question. And I was like, I'm not coming to this bullshit job. I'm done. That was your last <laughs> That was it for me. I'm like, I'm, done I'm not here. coming here if people are going to play on the phone yeah, with me like this. Yeah, don't fucking play. Like, this is stupid. Don't I, play. I worked at a daycare. Really? I worked at, I, I got in trouble because I used to do this thing called the whoosh. Okay. Where the kids would go to the top of the slide, <laughs> yes. and I'd grab their leg and swoosh them down the slide. Okay, that's and fun. They loved it. Yeah, but I guess one of the kids went home mm-hmm. and asked their parent to wash them. Oh, and they were like, "What is that?" And it was like, "Oh, it's a guy that I teach you." Does. <laughs> and then they came and they said, "Yeah, are you washing kids?" And I'm like, "Oh, uh, yeah, I'm glad." Uh, that kind of. That's so funny. <laughs> so I got in trouble for that. Um. I, like I said, I worked at Wawa. I pumped gas. I worked oh, okay. inside. I made sandwich. Like yep. well, I'm a Do you Wawa. Have a Wawa favorite food snack? Any uh, turkey sandwiches? I me love too. The turkey I sandwiches. love the turkey, yeah. Ho- yeah. The turkey hoagies. Yeah, their Fire. hoagies are perfect. I love it. I like when a when a sandwich feels heavy in your hand. It, it is nice and you know yeah. what I mean. I feel very. That's like the only time I've ever felt like I could have a kid. Like holding and a Wawa hoagie. Like, you're like, I'll be my baby great mother. You know what I mean? It's like a 12 inches. Just yeah. treat your kid like your sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Exactly. <laughs> I like their mac and cheese. Yeah. It's really good. Did you, uh, well, how long did you get on Wawa? Because I, it's, it's evolved through the years. I, I, I started getting old. on Wawa only since doing comedy from being on the road. Gotcha. So like driving to Atlantic City from New York. Oh, because you you're, you're, you're from Buffalo, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all didn't have it. We didn't uh, have Wawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had maybe Stewart's, which is mm. an upstate thing. Stewart's Wegmans, fun. which is just a grocery I've, store. I've heard but, of Wegmans, yeah. And then Wawa, when I started going to like Philly and stuff. Yeah. Passing Wawa on the yeah. way. Wawa, they used to have um, this fruit punch. Mm. And I, when I tell you, I mean, this may be too much information, but I feel like we're in the, the space of too much information. You're good. <laughs> I used to drink so much of that Wawa fruit punch that me and my best friend used to call it the red zone because <laughs> I would take a shit and my Don't whole toilet Ew. was red Ew. and my poop was red. Oh my so when it happened, I would call him and I go, I'm in the red zone, bro. I got to chill out for like <laughs> a couple of days. That is so funny. Care. That's so <laughs> funny it. and disturbing. Yeah, he'd be like, no, well, you gotta you gotta take a break. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. So I take like a two, three breaks. Yeah. Check. Okay, we back to normal, cool, and yeah. then I do it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta clear it out. Yeah. Yeah. You went to college. I went to five colleges. What? <laughs> what is up? Why do you bounce around so much? Eight years, five colleges, didn't graduate. Really? You what do you yep. think? Why do you think you like move around so much? I you, you get restless? I get super bored yeah. very quickly with even with like like that's why I I've never popped off social media wise with skits and stuff. Mm-hmm. Even if I find something that people tell me is mm-hmm. great, they love it, whatever. After like the third or the yeah. fourth one, I'm like, yeah. I'm over it. I don't feel like I don't feel like doing this anymore. It's really hard to be consistent. Yeah, and stuff. And yeah. you know that social media is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. just got to be consistent. To I'm pop like, hey, off. a new series. Yeah. Three like three episodes later, you're like, I'm like, uh, I'm like damn, it didn't happen. <laughs> y'all still want this? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all not bored? Yeah. But yeah, so I went to five colleges. Um, and it was one of the things where I didn't find radio until college number three. And then after that, I, um, it was one of the things where, you know, in college, they got you taking classes that have nothing to do with shit. Yeah. It's just like, you know, they make Mm -hmm. you take it. And I'm like, why the fuck am I taking this? And that's what I started getting to when I'm like, I know I want to do radio. I want to be this. And then I was college number four. (laughs) I was (laughs) college number four. I was in a, um, it was a improv theater arts class. And I walked into the class because I was late. And everybody is in the class pretending to be different animals. Hilarious. <laughs> and I'm just like, the fuck is going on? And there was this big heavy set guy about the size of me. And he was gay. He was on the floor going, oh my God. 
And I was like, the fuck are you doing? He was like, I'm a snake. <laughs> I left, went to the cab, took out the oh curriculum. You know, remember they, yeah. had, they have the map out yeah. the curriculum? And I said, all right, I got two more years here. Mm -hmm. What the fuck classes do they got me taking? Yeah. And I looked and I was like, none of these classes have nothing to do with radio. Yeah. Why the fuck am I taking these classes? Random so stuff. I transferred to college number five. And what college was that? Five was Hofstra in, in Long oh, Island. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And their radio program was amazing. I learned a lot. And then I got an internship at Power 105 with the Breakfast Club. And I was just like, I'm here now. So let me just focus my energy on this internship. Mm -hmm. And if I just, you know, put all my work in and, and outshine whoever I got outshine, then I'll get recognized or whatever. I'll learn more here than, right. than in this class. But I was still going back and forth with college. And then they had me in a, it was, I don't know, Native American literature class. Mm -hmm. And I <laughs> sat in the class and I didn't read the book. So right. they're going through the book and they're like, yeah, so can you sum up uh, what happened in this chapter? And they're like, mm -hmm. yeah, runs with wolves is now getting in love with <laughs> River bone, and then I'm like, the fuck is happening? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> How is this gonna help me play Jay Z records yeah, on the radio? I think of you. Yeah, they were like trees in the wind is now <laughs> right. Get mad at right. steps in the bushes. I'm like, nothing. What? Are, what are these people? What does this have to do with the FCC? At Tell all, me. Nothing. Yes. So then, at that same time, the money ran out. Like with my family at, for college, we like my mom was like, look, we can't. Right. We just can't do that no more. You Pay know what college. I mean? So I started selling weed so that <laughs> I can kind of get my transportation Sorry, to live with him. You know, my I didn't mother, know where that of course. Was going. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's an argument yeah. because my mother just found out yes. like that I was I was selling weed to pay for some things. Yes. And uh, I just recently told her that she was, don't tell nobody that. Just stop. So. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not going to show her this part of this clip. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know what well, I mean? Cut it out too, if you. No, 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 no. Just I'm funny. just not going to show her this part. Your but. trajectory is fascinating to me. <laughs> but um, then I just like I was all in for the internship. Like I was there right. during holidays. Right. I was there Christmas morning. I was there other days, right. and and then it ended up turning into a job just somewhere else. Um, you said you started selling weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. You know, Lee, we wasn't legal then, so yeah. yeah, I had a nice little clientele where I didn't have to do too much. Mm, yeah. Where you know I didn't have to stand on no corners yeah. or have to really. I got one guy who was a super pie head, and he bought in bulk from me, okay. so that took majority of it. And then my <laughs> landlord at the time, he bought. We used to buy from yeah. me. Wow, which was dope because I'll be like, don't even worry about paying me; just cut it off the cut yeah. off the rent. Oh yeah, you know totally. I mean? Yeah, so that was that was a clutch. Love it. He was dope too because he actually let me throw parties in his house. Yeah. And it was weird because he rented out every room in his house and it was a different person from somewhere else. There was a guy from China. He had only been in America <laughs> hey for Arnold. like three months. It's yeah, like, it hey was Arnold. just like, hey, Arnold out. <laughs> oh my God. That's I was so living weird. in a boarding you house. You literally were with grandma and grandpa and fuck oh my God. who was all in Mr. there. Mr. Kakashka. Ka yeah. Yes, because the guy in the yeah. basement, none of us have ever seen. And it's like the guy, Mr. Smith. Yes. With yeah. the, yes. Oh my God. Yeah, the mysterious guy. Oh my God. Yeah. So Yo, cute. I can't believe we just That's had this hilarious. moment. That's hilarious. When I you never said Chinese realized. guy, I was like, because there was a Chinese guy in the, so, yeah. yeah, Mr. Wynn. You said, Yo, yeah. I can't believe I lived and in the, the border. Uh, macho guy with the crane, mm. Spumoni or whatever. Dino Spumoni. Yeah. You better not touch. Was that mouth. at Hofstra? <laughs> you stayed in the Hay Arnold house? I'm sorry. That, like that was a real yeah. like oh. moment for me. Yes. I'm like, you literally lived in like a boarding house. It sounds like. Wow. That's yeah, insane. that was it. Was right around the corner from Hofstra. Wow. And the guy was cool. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was cool, but he was. He did this thing one time. Oh Lord, I'm just telling everybody's business and shit. You're good. He it was a long time ago. He came to me. He was just like, "Yo, I'm, I put an ad out on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. um, if girls want me to eat their pussy." I told them I'll be at the Starbucks mm -hmm. <laughs> on Hempstead Turnpike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just sat at the Starbucks. Did anybody come? Wait. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the first day, the first day, he said, he said he thought he saw a couple of people that yeah. you know were interested, but they were kind of nervous right. too. And the second day, 
Wow. And really? He said they came to him. Floodgates open. They went right behind the Starbucks. He no said they way. Yeah. And he just ate their pussy. I'm going to do that, but sucking dick. Yo. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here to suck some dicks. I was like, shit, it worked for you. Yeah, like, seriously. Wow. The girls are showing up. They're like. Yeah. Yeah, he said at first the, they were looking like, I don't yeah. know if I'm, if I'm doing this. And then yeah. he said the second day they came, they looked and was like, wow. I'll try. And it happened. So if you ever just want to eat pussy, you like Craigslist. Yeah. It's definitely the place. <laughs> yeah, if I ever get a craving. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite food other than pussy? Uh, mac and cheese is yeah. actually how I got my name. Really? So, yeah. Because, okay, so radio comes from radio, mm -hmm. obviously. Mac comes from because you ate mac and cheese? Yeah, I used to, at college number four, <laughs> at college number four, um, I got a job at the kitchen and I used to ask them to make mac and cheese every, this is my favorite food so yeah. I asked them to make mac and cheese every day or sometimes I would try to help you know make it mm -hmm. so they would do it um, and then they hired somebody that had the same name as me to do trash okay. and, and all that other yeah. stuff so one day and your real name they, is Corey I forget yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so they, um, they hired this guy named Corey and literally they're like Corey get the trash yeah. Corey there's a spill out there Corey I'm like Nigga, I don't do trash. They're like, Mac, we're not talking to you. I said, Mac. who the fuck is Mac? Yeah. They were like, you? Yeah. I said, since when? Uh, they said, we've been calling you Mac. Hilarious. You <laughs> should know. Like, I had no They're idea. Like, you must have hearing problems. So I was like, all right, I'll work. And then when I was trying to think of a radio name, I was at work. And I'm like, I had all these stupid names that yeah. I came up with. And um, and as I'm trying to think, they're like, Mac, are you working? Are you doing? I'm like, Mac. Oh yeah, yep, that works. Yep, yeah. So shout out to L. L's the shout one that out. yeah, they gave me. Uh, L wow. was crazy. You were Corey until then. Yeah. Well, wow. yeah, because my radio name was going to be uh, uh, Corey in the morning. C note. Oh, okay, oh. that's cute. Too. It was going to be C note, mm -hmm. and then I was going to do the old school '80s rapper, just do Corey D. Yeah, you know what I mean. And yep. then when they were like Mac, I'm like, oh yeah, that that works. I can't. I don't see you as a Corey. Is that yeah. weird? My mom named me. Yeah, my parents named me that because. Uh, I think they said they didn't know if I was going to be a guy or a girl. Okay, yeah. So it worked either way. Yeah, Corey's a good girl's name. That's yeah. cute. I was a pronoun before pronouns were... Yes, yeah, yeah seriously. Yeah. Um, progressive king. Hallelujah. Would you ever consider changing your gender? <laughs> Hard -hitting no, questions. I mean, I I identify as uh, skinny sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But so. they don't really, they don't yeah. really acknowledge that shit too much. <laughs> uh, stop it. <laughs> we seen you walking. <laughs> That's hilarious. Do you have any, um, do you have a favorite music right now? Anything you've been listening to lately? Nah, uh, music's so shitty now that I'm, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm 30, 30, how old am I? I'm 37. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm, I'm one of them old niggas now. Back in my day, yeah. we used to rap. You yeah, know what I mean? Real too. Yeah, I'm, I'm that guy now. What do you do when you you're... You call this rap? Yeah, I know. Soft. What do you do in your free time? <laughs> you want me to assume? Pornhub? I don't know. Pornhub? <laughs> hey. Let me tell you guys real quick. <laughs> you if literally just gave me the... Blankest stare I ever. Looking, I was trying to think of free time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, free time? Like, but then I was like, okay, wait, no. So let me tell you all. We have a girlfriend. It's 2020. Wait, wait, wait. Let me tell oh, you something. It's 2024. Yeah. Wait, what was I? What, what did I say? I do? Okay. Free time porn album. So it's 2024. I'm trying to put people on game. If y'all don't get you one of those, those VR metaverse drones, like the uh, you got one, man. Have porn you been watching porn? On that stop. is a whole really? different. Ew, stop. It's a whole stop. new world. Stop. Oh my! They put you in the position of the person wow. getting the action. That's crazy. And then we wonder why guys can't come Yo, when we fuck because, because you you're guys... not doing the stuff that that yeah. I'm doing in the VR world. A fake Wait. person. So does that mean? <laughs> does that mean like? Is it? It's real people. Yep. So they do they wear a camera on like their head or something. I guess whoever yeah, filmed how does that it. Work? Yeah, I guess whoever filmed it has a camera right here. <laughs> right, like, but it's it's, it's the best yeah. the best type of. How does it like? 
So does it move for you or are you moving and touching the person? So or are you just standing you, there as things are happening no, to you no, and you're I like, mean, basically you're really just standing there, but like right. you could look around right. and you're in the room. You and you see, see her like bent over sucking you, you, you off. You see everything that's right. happening in the world. Yeah. If it if it could be an orgy room, you look there, there's some people right. back here, there's some people over here. And do you open Pornhub and they have VR? I'm asking for no yeah, one but me. Yeah, and every website has a, a VR oh, section they do? now. Yes. Really? Yeah. So you just type in VR <laughs> and then porn or VR. Did you buy the Apple VR? No, no, I don't have. I'm not, I'm not popping like that. I know <laughs> you have a Samsung watch. We know. <laughs> <laughs> so that you bought another VR, and so the girl, it'll show a dick. Will it show a dick? Yes. Going into a vagina. It so what does. you're supposed to pretend it's your dick. It's, it's like it's playing weird. Halo. Yeah, but it's and you weird have the because gun. the good videos sometimes they don't have a black guy. So <laughs> I just got, <laughs> I just gotta assume my imagination like that's me. You know what I mean? So. They give you a white dick. <laughs> they so, should let you fill out a profile. They should where it's let like, you pick a color. Like. Yeah. Right, but, yeah. but some pick your pick player. Your color. Pick your player. Yeah. <laughs> they should let you pick your color. Like the Mario uh, Kart where you can change yeah. the yeah. Yeah. yeah, why would you? <laughs> and the dicks just like spin around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, that's, that's next level. Somebody gonna take that idea from us. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 We are going to do, before we wrap up, we have a color. And they're gonna. Oh, do I answer it? Yeah, you can answer it oh, in one okay. second. Do you have anything else you want to say before we wrap up? I had a great time with you. I know this was fun. I don't do like interviews. Or, or, I know. Like, I was like, when I thought to ask you, I was like, what a good idea. Yeah, I never. I don't like talking. Yeah, but you talk weird. this whole time. I know because I'm friends with you. Right. Like I, I don't I like hate, talking like, about myself. Podcasts yeah. Where, when I come up on a stranger's podcast, it's so cool. You do wild and out. Yeah. How did you get on that? I'm like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I like, I'm more of a listener. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't like talking about myself and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of my friends hate it because mm -hmm. it could be the simple as like how you've been questioned and yeah. I will find a way to dodge the fuck out of it. You have a, Just, you have a quiet energy. I, Cause when you're in radio, you talk on radio all the fucking time. So then yeah. it's like, when I'm not on radio, sometimes I just don't feel like talking. Yeah. It's just like, I just want to hear what's going on with you. Yeah. So I don't like doing like these type of things so much. I think I've done maybe two in my entire life. I'm so honored that you came here. This is the third one. I'm really happy you came here. And it rained and I was like, I have to find a way to get out of doing this shit. I know. He, every step from the parking garage, she was probably like, I hate Maddie. I was right. Oh, here's another reason why I hate Maddie. Every time. And you remember Niall coming out and fist yeah. pumping me. I'm like, and between, between the, the deep fried pussy, the getting the love from Niall, now I got to walk six blocks. I'm like, where are you? I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Texting him. The last text was like, do you have time? Do I have time to get food? I'm, no, I'm oh. here now. I know his first his text was like, I'm in the lobby. <laughs> Fuck your food. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. And you didn't prep me at all to come here. So like all these white guys in suits ganged up on me and I felt like I was in Macy's. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Like, Who are you here to see? I'm, like, I'm Madeline. <laughs> Madeline Smith. <laughs> They're like, oh, Maddie? Yeah. I said, oh, they know her street name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My name is just my name. I see I'm that. the only one on Wild and Out where it'll be like, Young Swag, <laughs> Lil Head Cortez, DC Young Fly, Maddie. Maddie. <laughs> Maddie's. Is your real name Maddie? Madeline, but yeah. Is it Madeline? Yeah. Oh, okay. But um, Carlos called me Madison for like two years, and one day I was like, it's Madeline. <laughs> He was like, why didn't you tell me? I was like, I don't know. It's you just kind of seemed really comfortable with with it. Yeah, There's so many people that call me radio. <laughs> That's it's funny. Hey, radio. That's funny. And I'm like, how y'all doing? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Especially with the movie. I'm like, all right. <laughs> oh, special. yeah. Radio. Oh, my God. I hope I see you more in the city. I know. Do you live out here now? I'm in Astoria in Queens. Oh, fire. So I'm here, yeah. West Village, East Village, both of them, and I'm always here at the studio. So yeah, East Side, West Side. Mm -hmm. That's why they're on ki different couches. They can't. They don't fuck with each other. other. Yeah, we got a caller. It's called the Fucked Up People Anonymous Hotline, okay. um, aka the Fupa Hotline. Hilarious. And people call and confess to stuff they've done. Mm. So, you want to pick up? We got one. Mm -hmm. And say thanks for calling the Fupa Hotline. Yerp. What up? <laughs> You called the Fupa Hotline. You never even told me where Europe came from when I asked yeah, you. Oh, oh, sorry. oh sorry. Sorry, sorry. Is Europe Wait. you you made that up for yourself? I didn't make up Europe. I know, but but how did you, it become to be your thing? Well, I've been saying it, you know, like I said, my entire life, yeah. like since I could remember. And I remember at one point I just didn't know how to spell it because everybody spells it differently. Mm -hmm. So I just committed to <laughs> Y E Triple R P. Yeah. And then um it wasn't until I left. New York, like the trusted area mm -hmm. and when I went to Boston and I would say it and everybody's like what is that and I'm like what is what mm -hmm. and they're like 
the thing is the dip. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, thing you oh, do. the Boston people. Yeah, I'm like, hey, what are you doing there? <laughs> it's Europe. Y'all, yeah. don't, y'all don't Europe up here? Yeah. And they were like, I mean, you know. Right. So then, like I said, I never realized it was a thing until <laughs> people were asking me about my thing. And I was right. like, oh. Right. Okay. But the way you say it is very, very. Well, it comes from the diabetic part of my stomach. Mm-hmm. So you got yeah. There's a like, gurgle yeah. to it yeah. that, like, if I try, it's like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It doesn't have as much high fructose corn syrup as yours yeah. does. Yeah, like if I do too much Ozempic, it's not going to be the same. I don't ever do Ozempic. <laughs> well, I do Ozempic because I have real diabetes. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Like I was doing it right. before it was a thing. I know, and now all the girls are like, wait, are yeah. you a queen like us? And it's it's be on back order. <laughs> I know. So That's like so people up. that really, like, me and my mama really need it. And it's yeah. like, yeah, we don't have it. And then we walk by and there's all these skinny big head right. girls and they're like, <laughs> we are on Ozempic. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's so skinny now. Mm. Biggest heads I've ever you seen in my life. You, tell somebody he's so skinny. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> Stop, seriously? <laughs> That's why I had you on because I look so small next to you. Oh, listen. Uh, they, <laughs> they're going to be like, Maddie lost so much weight in that episode. <laughs> oh, we're <laughs> worried. <laughs> all right, now we can answer the FUBA hotline. Okay. So I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. Yep, FUBA, what's up? <laughs> Oh my God, Maddie, I fucked my daughter's friend from high school and I was going to take it to my grave. <laughs> Goodbye. Now I get it off my chest. That That's it? She yeah, fucked her it. daughter's friend in high school? From high oh, school. from high school. Yeah. That's awesome. A little milk stuff. R. Yeah. Kelly, it's okay. Um, <laughs> sometimes you just fall in love with the... My, it, yeah, tell her it's okay. It, I mean, it, it depends on how old this person was in high school. Right. Yeah. Because like... You know what I mean? Well, how old they were. AJ ain't nothing but a number, but it, it is a crime if it's under 18. 18, right? We can't, we don't know from the information and we all, I don't know, it, it changes everywhere. I think it's uh, like- Maddie said it changes everywhere. <laughs> um, so it depends. If you're in Wichita, Kansas, it may be it legal. It may be legal. And also, we. Don't, I think it was after high school. Was, did, was but it the daughter after? has no idea. That's it. That's what oh, the, that's well, what she's saying. Like, I fucked my daughter's friend. She has no idea. And is the friend, I wonder, male or I don't female. know if it's a male or female. Yeah. Was the friend male or female? <laughs> There's no one there, just so you know. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, tell us what they say. She said they were a they. Oh, oh. so. Progressive. Yeah, just go for it then. Oh, then you're good. It, yeah. Everybody wins. Every, they said everybody wins. <laughs> everybody wins. We're progressive. Uh-huh. Happy pride. Trans visibility. Mm. <laughs> oh well I mean she said he was great though so does that change anything um well they said good dick is hard to find wait hold right. on what what color was the penis <laughs> yeah oh, in yes. the VR situation pick um, your own color did you get a, a penis Rolodex <laughs> at all uh hmm <laughs> Asian Oh, Mr. Wynn. Yeah. Got it. Nice. All right. I say never Happy tell her. Chinese New Year. Tell her to never tell her daughter. Oh, yeah. never tell your daughter. Because she'll she'll not forgive you. Like, yeah. it'll be too weird. Just don't. Yeah. Yeah, they said it'd be too weird if, if your daughter finds out because she'd be like, Mom, I thought you didn't like Pokeballs. But, <laughs> exactly. So. Did All you- right. All right, cool. <laughs> Happy Kwanzaa to you, too. Ah. <laughs> You're a fucking older woman? She was nice. Yeah. Huh? You're a fucking older woman? I tried to when I was in, uh, when I worked at Wawa. Yeah. There was a 40 year old lady and she had a kid. Mm-hmm. But the, that kid's schedule was crazy. Right. So. <laughs> a kid will really. He was yeah. active. He was doing karate. Uh, and yeah, not sports happening. Sports and shit. Not and it's happening. Just like, damn, cop you guys, you guys hung around for a second. We tried to. Yeah. But it was happening. like every time it was like, well, yeah. do you want to come to the baseball game? I said, no. <laughs> no, bitch. Fuck? Do I want to come to the baseball game? Yeah, no. I'm like literally like five years different from your kid. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to go to a game with your kid. I'm trying to play with you. Hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. You know, we should end on a little uh, rap. Okay. You want to do a little rap back and forth? Just, is that too right. much for you to handle? Nah, we, it's not. Ro- it doesn't have to be wild style, but we do some Im- improv rapping on the show. Um, so go ahead. Pop All the right. beat on, and we'll All right. do, do Am a couple I bars. The beat? Oh. Oh, hey. you have a real B? Hey, hey. The, the production is fire here. Thanks. <laughs> Listen. Sorry, I fucked up before I got a couple false starts. <laughs> oh, not at all. We don't care. Because that's what we do here in a madhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll get us started. Come on. What you think? Uh, ooh. Okay. Twerk work. Ooh. Twerk work. <laughs> twerk work. Twerk work. 
I'm with Mac. Uh, we in the house. Yep. And I don't play. Come on. We hitting it up. We hitting it up. Yep. We having the best day. Day. Everybody know that. Ooh, them chicks be baddies. Hey. Ooh, yeah, I'm in the house. Hey. Ooh, with my homegirl Maddie. Hey. Ooh, yeah, you know she got a flatty. Oh. Ooh, no, no, no fatty. Oh. Ooh, I'm lying because I'm sitting on a chair that me. She got a fatty. Hey. hey, you know I got a fatty. Yep. Because you know I got a fatty. Yep. And you know you want to eat that fatty with the fatty. With the, with the, with the, with the fatty. <laughs> Come on. Put the mac and cheese in the fatty. Yep. I put in my crack. Yep. Put the mac and cheese right in my crack. Call it crack and cheese. Hey, hey, hey. Say vibing all the time, yeah, you know that we feel equal. I'm glad I'm on the show, cause I'm good fans from white people. Hey, hey, hey. we vibing now. You know I don't lie. They don't like each other, cause they rep on different sides. Hey. On the east, on the west, yeah, that's a fight. The beat threw me off, now I'm rapping white. <laughs> uh, for the bridge. Okay. We here for the bridge. Yeah, this is weird. Oh. I said the beat sounded cool okay. It sounded a little sweet uh, uh. I said I felt real white Cause I'm rapping off beat okay. Said wait a minute now <laughs> I gotta end my rhyme Cause I'm looking at my watch And guess what, what? it's lunch time Lunch time yep. is now yep. I've been looking at her uh-huh. I'm gonna eat my sandwich And I'm gonna yell yeah. Yeah. Ooh, You know how I'm Big Mac When I leave here where I'm going mm, The door dash hey. <laughs> my food. We in them streets. I gotta walk. I gotta meet Uber Eats. <laughs> hey, he's gotta get the fuck out of Dodge, but he has a mile to walk to the parking garage. Oh, the parking garage. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. Them three blocks to me felt like I was walking to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Who won that? Who won that? <laughs> <laughs> I think Big Mac. DJ D-Rex, take this out. Who won that? Got to give it. It was close, but I got to give it to the new school. That's you. What? Yeah. You're, new, you're, you're new, new here. School and I'm a, oh, here, I'm new here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's wild now. Tune in next time. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, thank you for being here. I appreciate we had you fun. for having me. Follow Big Mac. Uh, it's just at Radio Big Mac, right? Radio Big Mac on everything. Mm. And... um. And you can go to yerp.com, Y E triple R P.com. For merch, Big Mac merch, and check out his tour dates. Yep, Wild and Too Thick and Thin. Wild Too Thick and Thin we with our here. friends, with our friend Cortez. Yep. Who lives where? Atlanta. Oh, I thought he was in South Carolina for some reason. No, nah, no, nah, he's in North Carolina. But like the Wild oh, and Too Thick and Thin yeah. tour is like, we we have it so where like anybody that we fuck with that wants to be on it can mm-hmm. be on it. Like we Cortez was actually like, yo, we should get Maddie on some dates. I said, Oh, we yeah. can't afford Maddie. So oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you guys even had the talk. Yeah, I was like, oh wow, yeah, they're no, doing we shows. Absolutely had a talk. <laughs> Cause like Courtney, we do shows. Like, oh, shows they picked with Jacob Co- again. <laughs> <laughs> No, we absolutely no, like JJ's doing some shows with us. Yes, yes, yes. You know, shout out to Mope, shout out to um, uh, Courtney's doing some shows yeah. with us. And then literally, Cortez is like, "Yeah, we should ask Maddie." I yeah. said, "Yeah," but see, here's the thing: is um, Maddie's getting real money, so I don't know <laughs> if she really wants to do those. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Payments, yeah, you listen, know what I mean? I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mac, thank you for coming through. Absolutely. Check him out, and he's got a compilation of Wild and Out on YouTube. Best of Best of Radio Big Mac. Yes, I have one. Yeah. Like I said, Maddie uh, has 50. A compilation. Every time I go on YouTube, (laughs) Maddie has a different one. And they get so creative of how finding ways to do it. I'm like, I wake up and it's like a notification. It's like, Maddie hitting on every guy. Okay, you guys Watch Maddie roast in blue shirts. (laughs) All these blue shirt compilations. There's so many. Justina has a lot too. I was like, good Lord, they love Maddie. Uh, Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. I think we should get paid for compilations. That's my note to... Bob, if you guys... You should get paid because you, you have a lot. Yeah. 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 1,000%. You yeah. Have a, I'm like fueling that entire channel. There's one video, Maddie. I can't remember specifically what it was, but I think my name was in the title. Yeah. And all the comments were, Maddie is killing it. And I'm like... It was us <laughs> doing the skeleton thing. Right? Yes, That's, I think that was it. I saw that. Re- I was like, why is that this? It was this tiniest it, it was, little back and forth. <laughs> and they're like, Maddie's the, the, the goat. Yeah. She's come so long. And I'm like, you know, I'm in this video, right? Like, <laughs> I'm the biggest person in there. I know. It's pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, see you next time on the Madhouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>